Today we will shoot a bottle and we'll put it in the mid journey world <laughs> again. Well, I had to do this one because I bought this expensive. Oh, it's not that expensive actually. We will do something. We will shoot a bottle as nice as possible, sort of, and then we put it inside mid journey world. And this is the bottle. It's like a rosé sparkling wine. Probably it's best if we jump into Capture One first and I can show you what I created in Mid Journey and then uh, I put it as an overlay in uh, Capture One. So let's go to Capture One. The background I'm using is this one. I can take you into Mid Journey and show you what I created. This is the prompt. If I put this in, slash imagine and I paste this conjecture, conjecture, <laughs> white interior, low angle, ultra realistic photograph, a spect ratio two by one, and the seed is 7777. And if you put in exactly this mid journey, you will get these four photos because this seed, that's these guys. And as you see, um, no, it's not this. No, this is another one, 7,777. The one I use was 777. This one, you see it, it's this one. And uh, that's all I put in. So if I put in this again, you will see that we will get exactly the same photo. And you can do the same if you want to try this. And it's very s super simple prompt, really. Conjecture, what is that? Is it like, is it like guessing or something? Conjecture, gissa, yes. Guess, assume. Okay, so Mid Journey is kind of guessing what we want. Feels a bit random, but I think it's a nice result. And here is the result, actually. Now it's done. And as you see, we have this low angle. We can hit space and then it will open up in the browser. And here we have the scene. And then when I decided I wanted to have this, the fourth image, I upscale number four and there it is. And then we open it, hit space, and then I drag it to desktop. And then we go to, we go to a tool that is free for upscaling. It's called upscale.media. And then you just drag it over here. And then you already done this, so it's in here. And then we upscale it times four. And then you can also click enhance quality or something like this. And then you will get quite good upscaling, actually. Yes, now it's upscaled to 6,000 pixels. Remember, the Mid Journey version is like 1400 something pixels on the longest side but i also click this enhance quality and then we just download this image and then i drag it into mid journey or this overlay and here it is and now we will try to shoot this bottle i didn't really use this overlay function because it's kind of impossible to find the right angle you have to eyeball it you know and as you see this seed 777 try to say this in swedish by the way 777 or from where i come from we say 777 or like they say it here in stockholm 777 777 777 try that one or even 7,777. So back to the lighting. We have three flashes. One, two, and the third one is up there. Okay. So which one should we start with? Maybe we should start with these two guys. You know, it's kind of nice that we're doing like a composite, that we're putting this bottle inside this world, because then we don't have to care so much when we're lighting it. I mean, we don't have to care about the surrounding, because if you want to get nice light, you really need to get these diffusion panels. This is uh, Translum, this is medium, and this is... No, this is medium and this is light weight. But you can use any kind of diffusion. You can go to Ikea and buy a shower curtain, you know. 
just roll it down for five bucks or you can buy this they're like 100 150 dollars or something but they will last a lifetime i think or you can buy like roscoe lee you know like a regular thinner you know there's so many diffusions find something i just roll them down we will make like a corridor like this and get it as close as possible and we can turn them on i think they are called a head on nothing happens ah they are on <laughs> there's no modeling light on we can put on the modeling light at least this one that one i dropped in, in the floor concrete floor so i cracked that modeling light i still haven't bought a new one i have to do that so we can take a shot we will get kind of nice gradient like a highlight on the side and it goes into the middle and this gap the black strip that's this space because we don't have any light we don't have any diffusion here so there will be a black strip in the center of the bottle so now we can put on the backlight the guy up there and uh, what's your name i think it's b as in background and let's take another one so if you look at this now we can see the back flash is glowing up in the center there it's a bit harsh because it's like a, a naked flash well it's a zoom reflector with a honeycomb grid five degree so we need to put up some kind of diffusion first i did like this i took a diffusion i took a bigger one and i took a smaller one and i did something like this you know just to get some kind of but if i do it like this i wonder if i can do it can we make this stay here oh. and then we take a shot i started out like this i just felt i need something and this is kind of nice i feel because if you have like sharper edges then the bottle will be so much more crisp you know you can feel that it is glass and glass is glossy and then it's very nice to have like a hard dark edge but i felt that maybe in this environment this mid-journey world it's uh, it's like a it's like a regular room a regular it's a it's a room top floor and it's very bright so i want to have a bit of a natural light feeling to it soft so what did i do instead well i put a diffusion behind the bottle instead um i just cut one i think it's this the the lightweight and then i placed it behind the bottle because then we will have diffusion from behind you know and somewhere around there it's a bit too big but it's fine and then we take a shot but then we need to close this side as much as possible and shoot now it will be very diffused instead and this is also very nice what i'm looking for i want this sharp edge here so it will be kind of easy to to cut it out for some reason there is not a sharp edge on this side but it's it's possible to cut it out of course you know this is the hard work with product photography taking shot of the shot of the shot kind of investigating why is it like this on this side not on that side this reflection where does this come from so bottles are really tough to shoot yes now they look the same but we have this big problem now now they, we made the gap like this and you see the bottle the the dark strip in the center becomes bigger so it is not such a great idea it's always good to have them as close as possible because now the center strip will be smaller of course but then again now this side is not the same as this one you know i'm trying like 10 times if i can't get something get rid of something a reflection or in this case the left side is a bit brighter than the right side i often just skip it you know i don't waste more time i will take 
one, two minutes in Photoshop, copy the right side and move it to the left or darken it down, dodge and burn, you know. So we will not waste more time trying to fix the left side. The dark strip in the center, best way when we're shooting will be to close this as much as possible. Something like this. But then I need someone to shoot. <laughs> you can also use your teeth, you know, to shoot. So there we go. Very nice glow. And do we have like a sharp edge? Yes. Here we ha still have a bit too much light. I don't see the edge. So another way to do it, instead of fixing the Photoshop, you can do composite. Because before, when I move this out a bit, that side became a bit darker. Yes, there we go. Now they look the same. So very simple. But again, if you when you're starting to look at the details, it's not that simple, actually, you know, that's how it is. Um, but now I will start to cut this bottle out. I will send it to India. Clipping path guys there. No, I will do it myself. And then I will try to place it in the mid journey scene. OK, that's it. Hope you find this useful and you're getting inspired. Would like to try it out yourself. Shooting bottles, more bottles, fun, but hard. A lot of reflections. Thanks a lot, coffee supporters, for supporting the channel. If you'd like to support the channel, there is a join button or you can head over to Patreon. Supporting this channel. Thank you so much, all the coffee supporters. And thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber, like or comment or do whatever you like. Okay, anything will be fine. As always, I will see you next time. Oh.